What up? Happy Easter to those of you here. Happy Easter to those of you here, man. You could be anywhere in the world. But you're here with me. Shell, I got you. I got a hundred and ninety to do today. So I'm trying to get done this first half right here. Um and we gonna we're gonna talk the talk. I do. We're going to talk the talk, man. We got Jersey in the building. Y'all piling on YouTube. Listen to me when I tell y'all this. All right? The amount of unsafeness, if anybody tells you it's only this or it's only that, is all a lie. Right? Everybody knows that DTF isn't safe. If they selling you a product, they know it's not safe. And if they selling you a product and they don't know it's not safe, they definitely know right now. But what's going to change? I got hit up by a few people and uh, ask me about different things or in, in, in a matter of what they should do or should they do this or should they don't. The company selling it to you knows it's not safe. The influencers promoting it know it's not safe. Now they want to rock hazmat suits. Because my good buddy, the brother, came out and said it. You know what the company's elected to do? They elected to sell you a 12 inch purifier. They elected to sell you a 12 inch purifier and move away from that conversation and only to talk about maintenance. That was the marketing plan. Marketing runs all of this. You know, I've been, I've sat back and I sit back and I analyze a lot of what every company is doing. One of my good buddies in the industry told me, he said, Stan, I said I was going to be the best printer. I didn't come into this saying I was going to make the most money. He said, I came into this thinking the wrong thing. I should have said I'm going to make the most money. Why? Because the decision making is completely different. Right? Your mission, based on what it is that you're after, is completely different. I'm looking up and down because I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube. Right? The mission behind everything is going to be different based on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Right? So, I'm going to check your comments. I think this is the first the, the, the first phase. There's more people who had issues. My guy, the T-shirt crusader, had issues. Right? Very early on, he like, yo, I started getting headaches. I started doing this. He stopped printing. I'm paying attention to this stuff. Right? Again, I tell y'all, it took me back to the very, very first time I pressed the DTF transfer, and it was stinking. Right? All the DTF enthusiasts said, oh, man, he playing, uh, you over-exaggerating, yada, yada, yada. Like, I'm going to make up a smell. You, you watching me press my very, very first DTF transfer ever. Live and direct. I'm just going to make up the fact that this, now, where you get them from, all of that kind of stuff, it matters. So now when people were saying, oh, it's only the powder, I don't believe it. 
right? Yes, the power could be the main cause. But if you don't think that pressing it, some of these fumes, maybe it doesn't have the same effect, but it still may have an effect. The truth is, we don't know. We're three years into it. We don't know. Nobody out there knows. We know right now that the powder may be the uh, the strongest or the the may cause the most effects the fastest. Right? But when that thing is gassing out, you don't think that has something to do with the same stuff that is coming from or change, whatever the case is. And we dealing with a gas. So sure, yes, maybe that purifier mitigates some of the risk. But the longer you do it, the longer you have exposure to it, who knows? We three years into it. And the companies knew, the people selling it know, influencers know, everybody knows it's not safe. This ain't like a new thing, right? Now, there are people coming into it naive and don't understand or don't know and nobody's told them and they just looking at the overarching business model that they want to be in, Right? Now, what's going to happen from here is they're going to spin you the same way that they spun you from uh, vinyl. They're going to spin you the same exact way. Right? They spun you from vinyl saying, buy my transfers. I don't need to weed vinyl anymore. Buy my transfers. You don't need to do this anymore. Buy my transfers. Now, the companies are going to spin this. Don't buy printers. Buy transfers. It's safer. Well, maybe there's some truth to that. Maybe there's not some truth to that. We don't know if it's any of this is safe. The truth is, you're going to have to weigh the risk for your goddamn self. Now that you know they out there, what's going to happen? So, see, I can smell that right now. You can smell it. So should I be heat pressing? With a mask on, is that realistic for me to do? I'm probably not going to do it. But, again, down the line, I can't cry. So, if you are, here's what I suggest you guys doing out there. If you are buying supplies, if you are buying, uh, uh, or you are printing DTF in your house, well, you should stop, right? We got people printing it in their house with their kids, all types of stuff, Right? If you're doing it by hand, you definitely should stop, right? So you talk about this new heat press from Pro World. Uh, let me pull it up real quick. The DTF heat press. Hey, Matt, you should discontinue this heat press like you discontinued the one I told you was going to be a, a, a top seller. You should discontinue this heat press. Don't sell it anymore. I'm frozen up over here. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. I'm frozen. They don't want me. They don't want me to. They don't want me to tell y'all this, man. I done got hacked by Pro World. Y'all think I, I, I'm? And I'm just warming up on Pro World. I'm just be honest with you. I'm just warming up. I'm just throwing little hints. Like I'm dedicating every last YouTube video that I do from here on out. Every last piece of content that I do from here on out is to tell people to not shop at Pro World. Could have been avoided, right? Could have been avoided. Play big bank, take little bank. It worked for a while. It worked for a while. But now I get to say what it is. Let's see if I can. Let me see if I can unhack my computer real quick. Is it key press or something? What's going on here? Let me just shut it down real quick. I seen folks in the living room 
uh, making transfers with their right hands. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. People got it in their crib with the kids. So here's my advice to anybody who has a DTF printer or uh, who makes transfers right now, home, whatever. My advice to you would be to start only buying your supplies from one company. All right? One company. Pick one and only buy from that company. This is for later protection in life. Right? This is now your new insurance plan for your business and your health and your family. Right? Because there's going to be class action shoots coming. I can tell you this right now. There's class action shoots right now already in the works for the way that uh, this DTF entire industry was made by a bunch of companies relabeling and coloring stuff and saying they manufactured this and manufactured that and they didn't. I already, I already know about some class action shoots that companies are or will be going through that's kind of on a hush-hush right now. Right? So, I think five, ten years, maybe faster, maybe long, I don't know. There's definitely going to be some class action lawsuits going. that's going to happen. It's going to have that t-shirt ad. If you work in the apparel decorating industry and you, you bought DTF powder from this company, I'm not going to say a company name because I don't really got nothing against none of them. From this company, uh, DTF Warehouse, better yet, if you bought this DTF powder from Pro World Inc., <laughs> I, 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 can, I can rephrase that. Call this number. You may be entitled to a lump sum. You know what? I'm getting into DCF and I'm buying all of my supplies from Pro World. I don't care if it takes 25 years to throw this class action lawsuit together. I'm throwing it together. New plan. Nick, everything I just said. Right? That's what I'm telling y'all that's what's going to end up happening. Now, the reason that I wanted to make the content and Brother Ernest wasn't sure whether or not he wanted to come out in, in, in front of this or not. He In the beginning, he like, I don't know. I said, don't worry about it. I, I'll take on the brand. I'll start the conversation. And when you ready, when you ready, let's do it. I'm here 1,000% like I do for all my friends. Not these fair weather friends talking about it because it's a it's a cool topic. Nah, not these judgmental people who can't re can't separate somebody's personal life or their views from their views and, and, and look at what's on the table in front of you. Right? Some people can't lean away from religion, sexual orientation, and Yada, 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 all these lists of things that divide us all. In this space right here, we are t-shirt, uh, decorators, apparel decorator, whatever you want to call this entire thing, we are that. Under this umbrella. So, one of the things that we talked about is, Brother Ernest may not be the right messenger. Like they said to me, Stan... You're not the right messenger. Stan, you can't go out here and say this anymore. You can't go out here and say that, right? So, what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to force the issue. Because it's not a, oh, he has a two he has two wives. It's, it's not a two-wife topic. It's not a two-wife topic. It ain't got nothing to do with that. So, if you think somebody's personal life or all of these other things that could be so divisive are more important than the issue, you should just stay away from it. You should just stay away from it. What he eat don't make you shit. But if he, it, what he's trying to educate people and talk about right now is 
for your benefit if you're in the space. If you ain't in the space, if it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. I got a message saying, man, what you think about? I said, yo, I feel sad for, the, for his family. Why? I mean, not just to say that I feel sad because I went, I flew and stayed there with him and his family. It spent two days there. So it's a little different. I ain't here because it's the topic. I sit on the phone and talk extensively. Hours. Pull up, hang out. Yo, I'm driving through. Let's get together. Right? So we having this conversation. The first thing I asked him, keeping it 1,000. Brother Ernest, you smoke a lot of weed. Could this be from the I'm, I'm going to ask him everything that they're going to ask you, bro. This is all the stuff that they're going to say. Right? They can... Put like they can't put the wise and other, you know, the flat. Oh, I used to believe the earth was flat. They can't put all of that into this conversation, but they can definitely put the weed in the conversation. And you smoke a lot of it. Some people don't care. Some people going to judge you for that, whatever the case is. But let's get to the facts. Could this be caused by the all the weed that you smoking? No. Go watch the video. You talk about it's similar to the asbestos. Asbestos, y'all see, we don't know what asbestos is, but y'all comes in like the weed roundup and all of that kind of stuff. But y'all seen it on the TV, I'm sure. We had commercials. We ain't the YouTube. You know, y'all know what I'm talking. Y'all know the commercials. If you use Roundup in 1998 uh, on your lawn and you have this type of cancer, you know how that go. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And when I tell y'all, they all know, bro. They all know. I told y'all a little bit earlier, my, my guy said, Stan, I came in this saying I was going to be the best printer. I ain't coming in this saying I was going to make the most money. I, I should have came in saying I was going to make the most money. I came in this thing saying I'm going to help people. I should have came in and said I'm going to be a snake like some of these other people. And I'm going to go out here and try to make the most money. But it's, it's yeah. Our, vi our vision, our views, our purposes, they all different, right? So our purpose is all going to take us on different paths for what it is that we must do. My limit to helping people, don't stop at showing you how to print a t-shirt. Right? My limit don't stop at, hey, everybody come to the show. After the show, I'm taking everybody who came that, I, that wanted to come with me, we going to go eat. Right? It don't stop at that. It don't stop at, yo, I got this company over here. You got some content. I got I got a deal for you over here. Come over here. Let's do this. It don't stop at going to the show, shaking hands. and It don't stop there. At the end of the day, I said I will always stand up for people and I damn sure going to stand up for myself. At this point, I'm, a, I'm about to show you a press right now. At this point, you got to make the best decision for you, right? I know I need to get into embroidery a little bit, just a little bit so that I can do these school stores with these small orders, these stragglers that I want to do. Um, to do these uniforms. I got about two schools I could be onboarding with an online store, all of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I need to get, I, I'm back and forth. There was two things, the reason why, and I had DTF offers just like any other influencer. The reason why I was so hesitant. One was because of the maintenance. Two, because where do I want to put this? I got an office built in my home, talking to Brother Ernest. Yo, it got to be properly ventilated. It got th th These things have to happen for you, right? Ah, between those two things, it just don't make sense. It don't make sense, right? So...
at this point, where we are is you have to make the best decision for you. Some of y'all going to say, hey, man, I'm in it. I'm going to print. What happens to me happens to me. That's kind of my approach in life. That's kind of my approach to life. Whatever you do, be overly precautious. Go above and beyond and you still may get hit and you may not see the effects. We're only three years into this. You may not see the effects. All right, here, here go the press. Pulling up the press. What's going on here? Shoot. Y'all see this nutty ass press right here from Matt from Pro World? This press right here. I'm going to show y'all up there, too. This press right here tells y'all that they don't give a fuck about you. They don't print. They don't know anything that we experienced. They don't care. They just add another school to sell to you and give you misinformation. They got no freaking clue anything about the products that they sell. Good or bad. They're just selling the product. They don't want me to, they don't, they don't want me to show y'all this. For some odd reason, I was going to blow it up, but right now it just froze again. All right. You see this? A heat press built for DTF. Oh, the DTF packages. Oh, let me click that out. Oh, the DTF packages right here, right? The DTF specific heat press. Right? Why is this built for DTF? Built for DTF because you can cure your prints with this. And I'm going to show y'all. Give me two seconds. I'm trying to uh, pull this ad up a little bit bigger. This one is specifically designed. What does it say? This the only heat press specifically designed with the A3 plus DTF print in mind, right? So it's 13 and a half, it's 14 by 16 and a half. Right? Let's pull up the ad for it. New heat press built for DTF. It's built for people who are printing. Out of their home. Where should you not be printing and powdering your DTF transfers from? They marketing for you to kill yourself. I think the first class action lawsuit should be against Pro World for harmful advertisement to your health. They trying to kill you. This is the advertisement. So what should you do, man? Take all the necessary precautions and get back to the serious note. Get back to a serious note. You should take all the necessary precautions. Stop printing your house and murdering your kids. The powder may be very, very bad. You may you do need proper ventilation, all that good stuff. 
But it's very, very early in the process. Nobody knows. And until somebody decides that they're going to put forth the money to go through the first class action lawsuit or get a lawyer to go through it or whatever, and then you got to go through the testing and how long did it take them to find out about Roundup? Look into it. So, Brother Ernest, going back to it, I know I'm jumping around all over the place, may not be the right messenger, right? And, again, pioneer to DTF printing coming into the U.S. Super pioneer to DTF coming into the U.S., Right? He doesn't have the luxury of going to a company and saying, you sold me this because he imported his own stuff. Right? So when I say, if I were you, if I'm going to print it, you're going to go against it. Don't go mixing supplies. Keep a real crisp, clean track record of what you buying, when you buying it, who you buying it from. Right? These companies, they ordering it, they, it's, get, it's changing every time they order it. It's not being formulated the same. Sheesh. I ain't pressed detail transfers. I can smell them. Quite some time, but I guess I ain't really pressed a bunch myself either <laughs> as of recent. But again, if you can smell it, how do you know it's not? This is like, oh, you still good. You good. Don't worry about it. We don't know. We don't know. So when they tell you to buy transfers instead, don't print, buy transfers. Keep it in mind. Keep this in mind. That is all marketing. You probably shouldn't be buying it from them, even if you do got to buy it. Yeah, this may be a lot less risky in the long run. But, hey, if that fifth, that, that three, three year window, right? He brought the first DTF into the US in uh, 2020, into 2019, 2020. If that three-year window turns into 20, from us pressing it, is that a necessary risk? Is that the risk you want to take? Who knows? It's up to you. That's the way you got to think about it. That's the way you got to think about it. Still, you have to blame some of it on your greed. Um, on your, my, my greed, but the greed uh, and not doing homework, right? I mean, listen, if I don't know nothing, I know that all of this is all of, always about money. It's always about money, right? And we're not talking about my viewpoint on money. It's like, yo, I just want enough to take care of my family. Leave them uh, with a little more than I had. You know what I'm saying? That type of mentality, Right? No, it's the mentality of do whatever to get rich. Right? That's why I say the people's motives is different. Which is fine. I had to learn this. At the end of the day, I'm going to be who I said I'm going to be. I'm going to stand up for my friends and people and whatever. I, if I see something that I want to stand up for, I'm, that's always been who I am.
You know what I'm saying? Is it is the screen printed powder the same? That's a question that I'm going to say no, although it may be similar. One thing I do know is that those particles are bigger for the screen print powder. But that doesn't mean it's less uh, or more harmful. But what I would tell you is the setup and the usage is different. Right? The setup and the usage is different. And most people aren't making screen printed transfers out of their house. Out of a spare bedroom. This is something that has been sold and affected the masses, the mass market. Where, I forgot what the number, but there's something like 13,000 professional print shops in the United States, right? Doesn't account for garage printers. So let's just say it's 20,000 even with garage printers. This is before like this, this huge influx, right? Um, Looking at that, that and now it's in, let's say, one house on every in every neighborhood. Across America. And it could be multiple. You live in a city. But let's just say. Now this is a. This is a. This is a DTF pandemic. This is a t-shirt industry pandemic potentially. How many of them printers have been sold? Tried to be converted. Been printing since 2020. Early on doctors. The gung-ho people. That I know weren't using the right protection. And you think just because I'm right here right now, I'm working with the powder, right? Working with the powder, boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm done with the powder. I take my mat. It's in the air. It's in the air. If you think a 12 inch purifier is going to catch and grab. Everything that you know, and y'all printing this stuff around your kids, you know. So, you think Matt cares about you printing all your kids or you want you to buy that brand new heat press specifically made for DTF? <laughs> Collaborative design marketing style of myself and where that guy was over there, I forgot his name. Oh no guys, come buy these transfers now. Oh, uh, where to buy transfers? Man, listen. You can literally go anywhere. Marathon dot supply. Um, you go to any company that you see at the show or that you see promoted. Whoever you like. You should go to whoever you like and you agree with. But who I don't agree with is anybody associated with Pro World. Anywhere in the world, but pro world.
where I really think people should shop is you should shop with whoever is educating and providing you value. I do. Marathon Dot Supply, you can find it in my in the bio somewhere or t-shirtsarsal.com. Right? It's another Instagram page, but none of that. I think that you should buy transfers, supplies, any of that stuff from someone that's providing you value. It could be somebody who answered your question in the comments. It don't got to be me. Could be anybody. You should go pro small business. If a small business can service you, you should go to a small business. You should build a network. You should preferably find somebody uh, local to you if you possibly can. Right? Local works. Again, do your due diligence. The same way you test these big companies that get promoted by influencers like myself and other people, right? In the past. Let me just wait down. Um, the same way that you do that, you should do the same due diligence and find a small business that you can lock in with or some of your favorite, uh, favorite stuff, favorite people, super color and transfer express. We don't rock with super color anymore. Not people from our channel, not people who are, you know what I mean? We just don't rock with them. It's all love in a, in a sense of corporate business, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm not uh, a supporter, nor do I think other people should be. That's my opinion, and that is what it is. Appreciate them, learned a lot, enjoyed my time, but... My view, my view, my views on friends and, and, and mentors and stuff, it don't align. And there's I got more to say about that at a later date. Y'all got to tune in to part two, but we on Pro World. I really don't got a, a huge beef with Super Color, other than the way that I just don't like the way that they handled it in, in, in its totality. But I understand it's business. So it ain't personal, this ain't personal either. I just don't come from a place where you can sue your friends and we still be friends. I don't come from a place where I would tell my friend to consider somebody else's kids after they robbed you. After they robbed you, you should think about their kids. I don't I just don't I just don't sus subscribe to that type of stuff. Right? I believe that I'm owed millions that I will never receive. And I'm alright with that. But yeah, that's how I go, that's how that goes from there. This ain't no secret. Nate may be on here watching. I got love for a lot of people too. But you know, some of these things are what they are. My place will always be my place, and I'm happy here. What else? They marketing is real. I know why it's real. Because I created it. I created it. A huge piece of it. Like, no Instagram followers in the DM to what y'all see now. that The gift that keeps on giving. But again, that product was not made for you right here on my live right now. It was made for the professional decorator. I had to change and tweak and fight for things that would ultimately help out and will ultimately be the main things that grew the business from two to three hundred thousand dollars a month to two point three million dollars a month.
any feedback on the Pro Color DTF printer? Listen, I don't think you should be printing in your crib. I don't think you should. If you're going to get a printer, get a commercial grade printer. Oh, man. Phone just died on Instagram. If you're going to get into DTF printing, If you're going to get into DTF printing, you should get a commercial printer with that 12 inch purifier. You should get an air purifier in the room. You should seal off the room. Should be nothing else there. Secondly, you should not buy anything from a company like Pro World because they don't know nothing about nothing. So, you know how you get that company run around and stuff like that? It's because people talking to people who don't know, who talking to people who don't know, who they guessing because they don't experience it, they don't do it. So, if you're going to buy it, you should buy it from a company that at least knows a little bit. Shows you in some way, shape, or form that they care. about to be crack the box open it's all supposed to be 170 shirts and i forgot i threw a couple other pieces in there i had to get some sweatshirts for my boy food truck it's supposed to be 190 pieces i open this second box right here and i'm looking and i see these black on top i almost had a heart attack y'all these don't do monday by one o'clock and i'm trying to get them to them first thing in the morning and just be done with it I'm like, <sighs> anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, I got a question for y'all. You're buying DTF transfers, right? You got a shirt order to do in DTF transfers. It is 190 pieces. It's for school. The reason it's DTF is because it's a full color print. Clearly. Uh, obviously. What would you charge? What would you charge? 190 DTF printed t-shirts to a school. I got another, I got a big school quote order that just came in from the website. You ain't got no website, man. You hustling backwards. I don't even know how this lady found me, but it's like a different charter school in the area. I'm like in there. $12 to $15 each. How much profit... I'm going to answer y'all in a second. I'm going to give y'all 
I'm gonna get give me let me get some answers in here. I'm gonna give y'all the answer. Well, I'm gonna let y'all know what I did. How much profit do you think you should get per shirt? And also keep in mind that it's a group order. It's not individual people paying for the order. Okay? So here are all the factors. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to pricing t-shirts. Okay? I got in my mind a profit per shirt that at the bare minimum I'd like to make for doing what I do. So, the first thing you got to do is, if you're buying it transfers, you got to know how much this costs. So, buying this, got the price down to, a, you can get the price down, and again, I'm shrinking it down. Maybe I would have printed it bigger if it was screen printed. If I had more money, I would have added I would have printed at 12 versus, I don't know, I printed this at 11 and a half or whatever the case is. I have a bigger budget. The answer to this question overall undoubtedly is I'm going to meet the budget. Unless the, I'm going to meet the budget. So for a school, I believe you got to come down a little bit, depending on the school, the demographic, whatever the case is. My schools in my area are used to paying very, very low prices for for especially screen print t-shirts so at this size this would cost you about two dollars and fifty cents it could be three dollars it could be three fifty right depending on your what you got going on right your price points so the t-shirt so let's call the transfer three bucks. And the t-shirt, well, let's call it what it was. 250 and t-shirts, maybe 250? 260? How much are these right now? I'm using important company because they did, it's the same as Gildan. I've been to the factories. Um Okay, 221. So you into the shirt 475. So my lowest number for a full color printed graphic is 1250. Right? Like I ain't 1250, you get a bunch, cool, and we gotta consider the size. So that 1250 could be 15 if they want something large, right? Um, and so what I would end up looking at this and saying is I present 1250. This is what happened. Well, this one I did, I did at the same number. I'm going to do these other ones at, but nonetheless, going back to it. So I present, she want a couple different design options. Cool. I show you the design options. We come down to talk costs. 1250. Say, ah, she got the one color option. Right? I don't know. Eight, eight fifty or something like that. You got the full color option at twelve fifty. Right? Cool. She says, uh, can you show me the design what it would look like in one color? In my mind, I know the one color is going to be uh I wonder what I told her. Let me see if I can pull up this quote real quick. I'm gonna give y'all the real breakdown. Listen. I ain't doing no more of these talks on YouTube. Just let y'all know. I got some I got some good stuff about to come out. So if you want to hear more about like the business side and kind of doing things, join the email list on t-shirtsizes.com and then t-shirthustlersclub.com. Check it out. Um, you'll get an idea. And we're about to run this whole entire thing. Um, that's sales. We need quotes. All right. Here we go. So, the screen printed shirts are $7.35, right? I like to, like, make $5 a shirt. That's pretty much what I would like to make, $5 a shirt. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, the full color was 1250 is what I quoted it at, right? Again, based on the size, design, and all that stuff, that number can go up or down. But what I also like to think about and consider is, okay, cool. If I converted this design to a one color, which can be done, what I'm sitting back and now I'm looking at is like, do I want her to spend 735 or... Do I want to see what the budget is? I say, okay, go back. I say, okay, let me know your budget and let me see what I can work out. Right? Keep in mind, the one color, I'm going to make $7. I'm going to make $5 because the shirts are like $2.30, $2.30 or something like because they some youth in there. You for like 10 cents more or whatever. Right? I'm going to make $5 a print. On this, at $12.50, I will make probably about uh seven dollars a print seven dollars a shirt something like that now here's what we're thinking i'm a, same work not same work doesn't matter right now i'm sitting back and i'm going i'm saying to myself all right she come back her budget her budget is ten dollars cool I can work with $10. So on my dedicated, on my price sheet, right off the bat, I have a $2 buffer for schools. Because in my area, I know what schools are used to paying. So in my mind, I can automatically negotiate $2 and I'll be in a good rate. I'll be in a good range. So that tells me off the bat that I can come down to $10.50 to meet their pricing. 10, 10 50, depending. I can play with the size of the design and say, listen, if you can do 10 50, I can do this right. Right? A little compromise in there. I'm pretty sure she can get an extra 50 50 percent or 50 cents, not percent. An extra 50 cent approved, right? If she can't, I'll do it at ten dollars. Right? Now at ten dollars. I'm going to have to do the transfer. It may cost me $3. So I'm going to be in this shirt $5. Right? So now I'm only going to make $5. Right? By dropping the price down. That's my number. $5 a shirt is my number. Right? I need this to be at about $10.50 to print it at the size that I would like to print it at. You following me? Are y'all following along? I don't want to go too far if y'all not following along. Y'all want to come out here and y'all want to listen to these people telling y'all that the price is the price. Bro, the price is never the price. You paying more for Supercolor than you should be paying for Supercolor. Right? Why? Because you're not privy. Your business isn't either big enough. You're not privy. You ain't get a business license. Different things like that. We got negotiating power in the volume. But we don't stick together enough to operate under that. Right? And this is what I was always fighting for. I'm like, listen, I know our businesses aren't the big businesses, right? But together, we make it up, right? Where it may take a, one company might spend a thousand dollars. It may take five of us to get to a thousand dollars, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna make it up in the masses. We gonna make it up in the masses. I can't see tennis shirt in California. Where you, you think it'll be lower or higher? You think it'll be lower or higher? Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all the biggest thing. Y'all gotta change your mindset. Because... Where you saying you can't see, whether you think it's lower or higher, right? I see the type of work in LA. It's a different type of work. I'm telling you that right now. It's a different type of work. But I see people charging 
$28 for a goddamn t-shirt in bulk print. It's about the market. I think Cali will be higher. Could be. Could not be. I mean, shit, I'm going to tell you the truth. I know some places in Cali you can go and, and get some cheap-ass screen print. Prints. It's no different. The market for a, a, a DTF transfer is four cents, five cents, six cents a square inch, right? The, the the crackhead market is two cents per square inch. For a bulk order to school, that's going to take you, I don't know how many hours, whatever the case is, right? Count for cost of living, your equipment, all of that kind of stuff. Who knows? Give or take, right? Again, all of this stuff, too, applies to your market. So, I don't know that our school is going to pay 50 a shirt. But then again, they may. It's going to depend on the market. It's gonna. This is going to be adjustable to wherever you live at, right? So, when I say my threshold is twelve fifty a shirt, your threshold might be X, Y, and Z, right? Now... What can happen at 15 a shirt, you could probably print on a belly canvas and give it to them. You can do some different things, right? And this is where we say we provide options. There's no right or wrong answer here, guys. Trust me. Because, again, this same order that's about to come, I got another one. <laughs> I got a bunch of, like, big orders. And honestly, I've been procrastinating on them, like this one. I kind of procrastinated on for a week. I was in a little mood. Uh, couldn't get myself kind of to work. So I kind of ignored him for a week. And then I came up against the deadline. But he he rocked with me, man. So I appreciate it. I just got on the floor. I said, bro, I ain't got no excuse, man. I'm just mentally just barely hanging on, man. So I just got to be straight up. So is it better to get sheets or, or uh, a gang? It just depends. It, honestly, it depends. Um, if you're doing a bulk order, you know, maybe your sheets might be better. I mean, either way, I get sheets because I just make the girls sit and cut them up. Hey, I need y'all to cut these. <laughs> right? Uh, so, you know, who knows? Whatever it is, who knows? All right, so back to where I was. Um, so my number is five. Would I have loved to make seven on a full color print? Yes and no. But here goes the kicker. I told you earlier that I'm going. I need to get into embroidery, right? Just a. I don't want to get into like as of right now in my mind. I don't want to get into like massive production. I get a very very cheap price when it comes to anything embroidered, like three bucks, right? I'm cool with that because I can then go charge 10 and 12 for it just for the decor the imperil decoration. And now I got no labor costs, right? Um, so with that in mind, I'm trying to get the uniforms from the school. Hey, listen. Connect me with whoever ordered it. I'm gonna give whatever you need. Okay, cool. I'll take. Again, I hit my number. My number is five dollars, and I want you to have something you gonna love. I don't want to change change this design to a one color design. I want you to have something that you gonna love, and that's why you coming back. Because they came and they got sweatpants. They wanted it down a leg and this and that, and boom, boom, boom. You want this two two jackets embroidered? Cool, I got you. We gonna get all this stuff done that you want done. Um. We're going we gonna to get all this stuff that you want done, done. I don't got to break the bank, but, bro, let me think about this. I really just got started when I started this live. I couldn't really get a rhythm this morning uh, coming off of, uh, whatchamacallit? Hello? What up? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know if I got it. <laughs> 
I just went cold, man. I just went like, cold. Yeah, cold. I'm cold peeling everything. All right. Mm. That ain't right. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, but that ain't right. You uh, did you see the uh the, the I I ain't I meant to send it to you, but I was hoping you might have seen it from about the brother Ernest. All right, I'm gonna send you. I'm about to send you a video. No, he ain't died. Not yet, anyway, unfortunately. He got cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Cancer from, from DTF printing. Oh, yo, I'm I'm on I'm on YouTube live, but I I'm I'm I, but no, you can talk. I got you on my ear, but I just want you. To... Yeah, the powder. Yep. Do the world. Yeah, he made. I made a conversation. He just made a video about it. Um, he wasn't sure if he was going to say his name, but he got like they gave him like he got to get some surgeries, but they gave him like six months, maybe a month ago. Everything, yeah. Um, but again, he's like one of the DTF pioneers, so it's a lot to go into it. We don't really know what the full effects is. He was not sure if he was even gonna say it, like come out and say it. He ain't eat, so he's like, I was like, man, I talk about it, but unless you're ready, to... <laughs> he said I messed up Easter Sunday. <laughs> hey man, listen. We 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 invested into this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, and, you, it, it, and look, you got an industrial machine with all the pretty much the best. You in your garage, everything that you done thought about all this stuff. But it's still in the air. Once it's in the air, who knows? Like you said, it's on your computer fans, and you keep it's gonna be everywhere. It's dust. And if basically what he's saying is, and you'll see it in the video, but you see how it builds up. It builds up like a paste over, over time. He said, I don't even know if I wanna watch it. Listen. Listen. So that pace is what you of the same thing that you eventually gonna breathe in. Like, it's going to collect in you because that's the humidity that you're talking about, all that stuff. Because it's not just dust settling. It's the humidity with that dust that creates the moisture that turns it into paste over time. It's the same thing that ends up in your lungs. So, my recommendation is to keep buying your stuff. I feel like this is going to be another class action lawsuit type of deal. So just keep buying your stuff from one location. <laughs> from one, one place. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. In the closed room, you got a vented outside. You got to control your humidity. They gave you a 12-inch little purifier. That's supposed to... Man, listen. This is... they. they yeah. That's, that is what it is. At this point, but so yeah, just just uh, you gotta add another extra extra layer of extra layer of precaution. All right, man. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, it don't matter. I'm gonna just send it as soon as I get it from them tomorrow. Um. But uh, what I was about to say, I need the food trucks. Ooh. Yeah, whenever, yeah, no rush. So whenever you bring it, I need like, let me just mix six of them. Yeah, just the food truck. All right. <laughs> hey, 
got, I got, to, I got to tell you, man. It's like, yo, it's crazy. It's like when your girl cheat on you, it's like, damn, I just ain't even want to know, but you gotta know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know, but I gotta know. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Yeah. All right, man. Just real conversations. Buy a smart stitch, 15 needle, only 6K. How many? Uh, speaking of birdie machines, why do machines on Amazon are 10K cheaper than Recoma and Melco? Listen, when you spend like, I want you guys to understand this. It's the same thing as buying a car when you go buy equipment, right? I'm gonna buy a Nissan. Why? Because I like Nissans. They going. I know they're going to last 250,000 miles, 300,000 miles if they, if they get that far, which means the kid, as long as nobody crash them, the kids, kids, kids can get it. If you go buy a, a Nissan off the off the lot, any mechanic, I mean, off like an auction or something that got 200,000 miles on it, any mechanic can fix it, right? And when they fix it, it's going to have a good lifespan in general, right? That's my viewpoints on Nissans, right? They look good. I Maybe a step under like a, I don't know, a Benz and all of that kind of stuff to me. I'm not a huge car person, but just follow along, right? So then you got, from there, you got your Kias underneath of that. So let's just take three bands. We're going to take BMW, Nissan, and Kia, Right? I think the new, I always thought the Maximus, the Ultimus, and now the new Sentra, right? I thought they, they always look good, right? Good enough for a dude to drive, okay? You got your kids that they got to knock off Range Rovers and all of that kind of stuff, right? But the life value at three years, kids is dying. Them up, you don't even want to get them fixed, right? You buy a new car, you expect not to do nothing for like at least five years, Right? Oil change, new tires, going about my business. Right? For at least five years. Kids is dead at three and breaking down all types of different ways. Right? Why? Because it's the cheaper version of everything. You got your top brands. Right? So, and, and let's look at it, all of this. Take marketing out of it. Take the influences out of it. Take all of this stuff out of it. How was the market really viewed? Right? What machines do you see inside of big shops? Mainly Baradin and Tajima. Right? They are the BMWs. They got to do no marketing. Word of mouth. They just built like that. Right? The third machine, which would be the Nissan of this machine, is going to come in at uh, SWF. Those are the big three, right? Barron ain't coming in like, ain't no big three, it's just big me, <laughs> right? So now what happens is you get all these other machines coming in and the one that's going to excel, those three companies, like we ain't got to do no marketing. We know our shit good. We've been around here. We've been doing this, right? Even if you go buy one of the other machines, you're going to hate it and you're going to trade it in. Those machines that I just mentioned get traded, they get sold by the year. You don't hear that Recoma being sold by, yo, this is a 2020 Recoma. No. They like, yo, this is a 2016 Baradin six head I got for sale. And you know what? The value on those machines, they don't drop. The market is there, right? So let's say you bought an $80,000 machine. You're going to be able to sell it used for like 60, 50, no less than 40. You go buy a 60,000, the number of heads don't really matter, right? You go buy a $60,000 machine from Recoma, 
or $80,000 machine from a car. I don't know how much they cost. You go buy a thirteen or fifteen or eighteen thousand dollar, just a starter one. Them joints is on Facebook Marketplace for three thousand dollars. So if you get it, it don't work. You don't like it, whatever. You get out of the business. You about to lose all your money. It got no resale value. The shit's like an Android. There's a, a website, and I don't know it off the top of my head. But there's an embroidery website which tells you what machines not to buy. We all fool by marketing, right? And I know why. I understand why. I, I live it. I, I started the entire process of all of this stuff, right? I did the marketing. Which is why I always try to work with companies that I could believe in, right? Products that I believe in. I've been to Vercoma. I visit them. I got some things that I'm fond of, but in the overall majority, I'm not an embroiderer, right? Most of the people that you guys watch that are influencers aren't embroiderers. Not in the sense of old-fashioned embroiderers, because they're going to tell your ass, that Ricoma is a piece of shit. And this ain't me saying, this is me regurgitating this stuff. Even the people that I know who got them is like, it's a piece of shit. The ones that are kind of get you to sell it and all that stuff when you ask them, oh, you get what you pay for, right? These are the these are the common like I don't say objections, but these are the common like misdirections. Well, you get what you pay for. What's up, Ma? Happy Easter. Oh, okay. What up? I'm pressing some shirts right now. Gonna take a break and go to the crib. I got, yeah. Hundred and ninety. If I get, just one push. If I get um this done. This box right here is one more box at the crib. I'm going to get this box done and I'm going to go home. Oh, so I don't really know the count, but it's three, two big boxes and one small one. I got one. I took the small one and one big one. So maybe in like an hour I'll be done. Yeah. Yeah. All right, call you when I'm done. Listen, I don't have a dog in a fight. When I pick a partner, I get so many emails and all that kind of stuff. And now I'm really like over it. But even before now, I'm asking different types of questions. Right? I remember I was talking to, if, if, so let's say, if you had to say what, are the best screen print machine companies what would you say today right when i'm looking for companies i'm looking for companies that one are not here by popular demand meaning once everybody got it i kind of don't even want it Come with our decent and 15k at least 10k and 15k at least 15 k cheaper than a new bear then but Recoma also has no resale value that's exactly what i just said right that is exactly literally what i just said right and you know you get you it's true you get what you pay for. Right? You get what you pay for. If all you have is 20K and all you can afford is a Rakoma, then I say you get a Rakoma. But what I would also tell you is you're probably better off buying a used Baradin. Obviously, you got to do some due diligence, make sure it's working, 
make sure like have a tech look at all that kind of stuff. You probably better off buying a used barrier in the long run. If you can find a barrier at that same rate. For you know, come on. Y'all y'all get what I'm saying, right? I don't want to be too like overly technical, but you probably better off. And it could be a 2016. Why? Because that 2016 that you might buy for the 20K, I'm just calling the number out, versus a brand new Recoma at 20K, in a year, you're going to be able, it's already got its used market value. In a year, you're still going to be able to sell it at 20K. In five years, you're probably still going to be able to sell it at 20K. How do you know this? Because just go look at the used fucking machine market. You know what I'm saying? But your first car, you know, hey, maybe you want to, maybe you want this shiny new Kia for your first car. Hey, man, listen, I don't give a goddamn. I put me on, I'd much rather be on my scooter anyway. <laughs> right? But maybe you want a brand new Kia for your first car. It's going to look good as a mug. But when you go to resell that $30,000 car, 20, let's go back to the 20. When you go sell that $20,000 car and all you can sell it for is Thirty five hundred or five five grand in three years. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all feel it. Y'all got y'all got to hear me. What up, y'all? My man said, once you're serious, then you upgrade to the... Once you know you're serious, then you upgrade to the Benz. I agree with you. But if you're spending that much money, you might as well... Not once you know you're serious, you might as well buy a used machine and, and, and roll with that joint like that. We you said I got something in the Kia? I got a Rico in the Kia. He said, I got a Recova in the Kia. <laughs> Did you just say, I got a Recova in the Kia? Hey, man, just tell me what type of guy you is. <laughs> ah. uh, or girl, I can't even see. I ain't even look at it. I ain't looked that close. My bad. I just was reading the comment. I ain't even looking as a guy, girl. But hey, man, listen. The job gets done. The job gets done. I, I'm under the... Uh, uh, I'm under the impression that uh, I'm talking to my graphic designer. We be taking this. We be taking this entire business and industry way too personal. My 
graphic designer just sent me an AI generated logo. I don't really have him do logos and stuff, but I I had to do me a logo. He sent me an AI generated logo. I said, hell no, AI. I already know you ain't designed that. That looked like some AI shit. I'm going to show it to the client, though. I'm taking my chance. I ain't saying you shouldn't. I ain't even saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you shouldn't take a chance on one of those machines or whatever the case is. But what I am telling you is, don't look for no support. <laughs> you don't be looking for support when you make that decision. Right? Or be looking to pay for the pay for the help you need. Because why? It ain't a American person in the booth at the show. I actually talked to them and it was like you speaking Chinese. So now, this gets on to my other thing. This is where I like to go with companies that may not be the top of the top, but that number three, who's that number three, right? I look at like vast techs, right? Pretty good reputation, feel like they don't got a market, right? Then you look at M and R, talking about the top. So you go top M and R, tried, true, old school, personality wise. Then you look at you gonna look at Rock, right? New school, great marketing, right? Vast text manual stuff. Then you got like there's another company called MHN, which is like another top tier company. Then you got a company that comes out of nowhere like an Anatol, right? Then you got like a workhorse, right? Me, logically, I went with workhorse because I'm looking for, I'm looking to provide an impact, but I'm also looking for a great, great quality product. And they build a great quality product. I ain't saying there's not other companies you can't use. So when I'm looking at an embroidery machine, I don't know if I'm looking at like a, not even a go, look like an embroidery machine. If I had to go from the top and I looked at screen print companies talking about autos, I look at um, m &R, Rock, Workhorse. And it's all that pretty much might be the really it. Then you got some companies that you could take a risk on, like Brown, right? Uh, like Lawson, right? You got some off-brand companies by people just doing their own thing. They build in or whatever the case is. People going to have critiques of them. But you're going, hey, you know you're going to have to, if you spend that this much less, you buy a $40,000 machine that should be eighty. dollars you might have to deal with some things. It may not have the pretty touch screen and look all control panel ready and stuff like that. You That's the choice that you get to make. You the buyer. You can go buy the... I, I knew fair and well. I should have walked into Tesla. But I was like, I just want my Nissan. Right? This is what, this is what we're talking about. This is what we talking about. How did this thing keep going off auto? Oh, cold water, no beach. What up? What up? I got you. I know you are now. So y'all be confusing me, man. So when I post, I'm not even post pressing these joints. 
we gonna run them through the dryer. <laughs> Stevie Steve said, did you get a call or someone complained to shut you down? <laughs> Phone died. I need to call a meeting. Hold on, let me check the, all right, it's charging. Got a few Nissans. I'm trying to get a cyber truck on my next. Uh, man, I have to get used to Hey, man, listen. Listen, listen. I don't disagree with you. But y'all know, man. I hope y'all found this live useful. I appreciate y'all for Tapping in and rocking out with me for a while. We go all around the globe. We missed the podcast last week. If we miss it again, I'm canceling it. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm canceling superstar Greg Bozeman on the podcast if he missed another episode. I ain't want to carry another episode by myself. I probably should have just showed up for y'all. I apologize to y'all for that. Part two of surviving pro world is coming um i may be talking about some other things keeping it going do you sell online or do you have a physical store i sell in the streets the mean streets of hustleville um i don't sell online but i have a website for quotes and stuff Um, I have a website for quotes and stuff. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to do some, some, some different things coming up here, this go around, but everything I do is just from becoming known as a t-shirt guy and be saying I'm back, I'm back and I'm better. Y'all gonna get me back real soon. The 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 stand from 2018, 2019 is coming back. A little bit different, but the grind is coming back into everything that's been going on. And we're gonna be talking about all of that in the T-shirt Hustlers Club uh rolling forward. So t-shirthustlersclub.com. If you're interested in joining the group, like-minded individuals out here hustling, build a network, uh, get educated. 100% access to me. Y'all see I ain't as active as I used to be. That's where I'm going to be being active at. Pouring into people. Taking the information and running with it. And I'm going to say this one more time. They all knew that DTF was not good for your health. The manufacturers, the suppliers, the influencers, they all know, and they all knew.
up, man? Where you at? With the whole fam? Nah, nah, I just need that wife. I ain't in the butt. I was logged in with two seconds while I was driving, but I couldn't. I couldn't really log all the way back. Yeah. I'm going to call you and say, man, what's up with this, man? Am I going to die or what? You know the conversations we had when I came down there printing and being in that room? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's about six months ago. Yeah, man. You gotta be. I got the system to get it out of there. You got you go and double it up, at least. You gotta double it up. Man, it's your health. Yeah. It is. Oh my God, man. What if I keep the door? <laughs> You can do it all. I mean, we're going to take the necessary risk, right? I'm not saying you got to get out. We're going to take the risk. We're hustlers, right? But whatever, open the door, open the, put, just, just open the whole thing. <laughs> just put it in the garage when you print and roll it out front. <laughs> yeah, but you want, yeah, but you want to be 65, 75 and healthy. You know, there you go. So, we don't want that 45 turning into 51. That's how bad it could be. That's what they saying, man. I need to watch. I was like, man, when I slow down, I'm going to watch the episode where y'all was talking about it. But he made a, Brother Ernest made a video talking specifically about it. Who, who, who did? Brother Ernest. Yeah, I need to check that out. So, He from around there, but he live in Virginia. Okay. Uh, no, not Virginia. He live in uh, North Carolina now. He is from up there. He lives in North Carolina. Okay. I mean, we had all we had all these conversations about you know what I mean, like just uh, yeah, it's it's. It's serious. And it's, what are they talking about? Like, they about to, like, start like, regulating this shit or something? No, they ain't gonna regulate nothing. Ain't nobody in charge. Right, because it's all, it's all from overseas right so, now. It's, so, I think it's gonna end up being, like, five to seven years from now. Could be ten. It's gonna end up being class action lawsuits and action stuff. Lawsuits, yeah. Because yeah, what I... I, what I what I would recommend people do is start just buying their stuff from one company. Just make sure they buy it from one company. Because you know what's going to happen. It's going to be all of these runarounds and all of this stuff because nobody really knows. they just bringing it in from China. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to just have that mask on, man. Yeah, double it up. I'd be running my machine to have my pay your mask on. Yeah, go get a... Uh, go get... um. Go get the, the military grade joints. Yeah. Even but just being in there. So like not not even if the machine's not running. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna you read you gonna see about it when you uh when you watch the video. Cause he's like that build up that's just from it being in the air where it settles on stuff and it turns into like that paste from the humidity and the mixture of that. He like that's what gets caught. It's the same thing that gets caught caught in your in your lungs and builds up. It builds up. And it's gonna happen over time. So even like okay, we not the machine not running, but we in the room, or it's in the you know what I mean. So just keep that joint closed off and outside. Don't let it connect into your back warehouse like that type of stuff. So it's really compartmentalized and pretty much then there stay out there as much as you goddamn can if you ain't got to be in there. All right, man. Enjoy your food, man. My man. I'm going to holler at you. All right. <laughs> he bears everything else. What? The only way that's going to happen is if somebody brings it to his attention. Bro.
It's nobody governing this stuff. Who regulates our industry? OSHA? So who's going to bring it to OSHA's, OSHA's uh, uh, attention? Do y'all know what happened? Everybody stayed away from this conversation. There's a company, a uh, screen print company, that was professional, that was really looked upon as like the industry leader. I can't think of the damn name of it right, right off the top of my head right now. But they sold and they basically, their employees was like going into like unions and stuff like that and all of this kind of stuff. And they sold it to this other company um, and basically kicked their employees to the curb, basically. All this stuff. That was a massive conversation where uh, Printavo talked about it. And then they blocked the comments from a past, not talked about it, but they had the company on their podcast, like praising them or whatever the case was. And then they turned the comments off because like, bro, if when I tell y'all, like us as like the, the retail level consumer, like we will be considered retail, right? This is what I was fighting against is you don't have no fucking power whatsoever. They don't even give a shit. They ain't thinking about your problems. They don't care. If you ain't have a platform, and we've seen it, right? In, in multiple cases of anything that I've said is done in the past for the people, right? You, your concerns, your issues get pushed under the rug, Right? It's when we band together that makes a difference, right? And I got a different fight than everybody else, right? My opinions and my my views, my my purpose and what I try to do is mine and mine alone. I thought people were in for the mission and understand that we're going to talk about, maybe this will be the topic for, for part two of Surviving Pro World. But I tried to band people together to kind of combat some of this stuff throughout this process and it didn't work out. No big deal. It's, it was my fight in the first place. Right? So we got to continue on. I'm not a yes man. Um, I'm not just going to go with the flow and tuck my head because I came from corporate America and I know how to I play that game and all of that kind of stuff. I spread love, positivity, and energy, and I help people try to advance um, with any of my resources the way I can. I don't harbor information or block opportunities. I don't do that type of stuff. Right? But it's the mission. So we're here for. So if we don't band together, if there's an issue, and it ain't no issue because whatever you call a company and say don't matter because they look at you, big bank take little bank. What happened when I had a problem with Pro World? He called Rum and Mike and told them this and he got to go. He wasn't the first person that said that. And they went along with it. So how do you think they view you? And any issue that you may have, it'll go away. I watched this thing on um, on Dollar Dollar General. You should look it up. There are like twenty thousand Dollar Generals. They got more Dollar Generals across America than they do um, than they do Starbucks and McDonald's combined, right? And basically, they overcharge you. So when they'll have a sticker price seven thirty nine, and then you'll get to the register, and it'll be seven seventy five. Right, and they basically said a million transactions a day. It's like three out of ten transactions. I could be wrong, but let's say it's like seven out of a hundred of those million transactions, a couple million transactions a day, are overcharged. Right, so like seven out of a hundred, which is really really high and bad, but it's basically robbery. The lady said, "Who has time to call about 
uh, a 25 cent overcharge or who has time to write a letter or do any of this stuff. That's what they bank on with small people. Right? If you don't got money to fight a war, then you got a problem. That became my problem. Not having money to fight a war. Right? So now, and not only that, is trying to fight a war from within the ecosystem that you're living in. Okay, no problem. Let me rebuild myself and I'm going to come back and fight the war. My war is versus pro world 1,000% for the rest of my life. 1,000% for the rest of my life, Matt from Pro World. And I got to understand that, hey, you can't complain about the industry, but still try to be a part of the industry. So I got to understand that he can call a company like Supercolor. Supercolor can call, Rumman and them can call five more companies, and they can call five more companies. That's why it was important for me to start to get back to print, do some website work, get some money outside of the industry a little bit. It's going to take some time to rebuild and then come back and fight another day. Call me crazy. But. These are horrible. Y'all know I could be moving a lot faster if y'all wasn't here, right? It's like, no, let me stop. What else we got? How many shirts do I do in a do I do a day? <clears throat> Can I do it a day? Whatever the hell is necessary. This is 190. I'm gonna do today on a heat press. Could I do more for sure? Do I do more for sure? Let's just say 50 an hour is a fair fair number of, like, a chill, slow time. Tonight, I'll time myself on whatever I do next. I'm just relaxing, daisically pressing right now. If I wanted to double press up and, and use multiple heat presses. Oh, shoot. Some of these are some e-whips. All right, that's fine. I didn't even know I switched to me. Anything else y'all want to cover?
see. Two more, two and a half, well, two stacks. Let's see here. What size is these? Medium. 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 These better be mediums. They better not put three larges in here. Oh, the five X and the medium. Just press this five X. Five X Iana. Golly. Golly. Blanky Iana. How do you measure 5X? Straight or not? Hell no, nah, they get all get the same. It's just like screen printing. We already had to squeeze the budget down a little bit. I'm just sitting here printing. Any more work? Recap what I miss. Keep doing your thing. All right, all right. DTF printing is not safe. The manufacturers, all the companies selling the products, and the influencers, they all knew. They all know it wasn't safe. What they did and decided to do instead was sell you a 12 inch purifier and call it a day. So even if the influencers didn't know, the companies knew. If the companies didn't know, the manufacturers knew. And if they didn't know, they know now. So now they got to figure out what they're going to do about it. I.E. Matt from Pro World, who just released a DTF-specific heat press, basically telling you, fuck you. I got a heat press specifically made for DTF. It's going to make... This whole thing better because this is specifically designed for DTF printing. But what that tells you is they made it for you people out there buying these DTF printers, printing them out of your house where you sleep, where your kids play at, and the whole entire thing is toxic to your health. So I'm pushing for Matt from Pro World, Matt Cohen, to discontinue. Now, I know you're active on social media, but maybe Danielle and her husband needs to come and refer this to you. That y'all should discontinue this heat press. And because you don't know anything about the print method DTF, you should probably not sell anything to, to people. Um, because you don't even try to understand or know how to print anything nor does anybody over at your company like Danielle who educates in this space 
who doesn't know anything about it. I'm gonna clip this out. We at a minute, 100 minutes and 12, 112 minutes. I'm gonna post this on social media. Let me text him right now. 112 minutes, grab the clip. All right, I'm gonna leave them all. I'm gonna leave that topic alone for the day. All right, I need, to, I need to focus. What's that, 30 minutes? Too busy doing too much. Too busy doing too much. Yo, um, should be done this, I don't know, the shirts or transfers going to run out first, <laughs> but, um, yeah, should be done right at four-ish, I'm talking on live and going back and forth, I'm like, right, I need to, I need to, I need to get this stuff done, what time dinner going to be done? Oh, so we going for early dinner? Um, like, as, early go? like as soon as I get back, early dinner? Um, like 4.35? Like as soon as I get there, y'all ready? We go eat type of dinner? <laughs> it's like a lunch type of dinner? Um, sure, I see if you're ready for us, then. Um, so I guess 4.30. Cause if I leave here at four, um, and then that way we can relax a little bit and decide when we're going to come back and print. If I'm even going to come back and print. And then, um, then at night, I, mean, I ain't decide about this. Dang, it's getting late about this sushi run. Um, Already late, you know they don't make. They probably done. They probably done making it. I should have just went earlier. It's fine. We got enough stuff here for you to snack. Could always go to Rocco's. Oh yeah, we we'll do that. I ain't had a damn berry pizza or whatever we might get in there.
All right. I'm out of here. All right. It's the third is round this Did I get one at the impressions? I didn't get one. But I do know what I'm going to get. I can't say it in public because, you know, my, you know, people be, I got to, I got to wait until I got my stuff now because Matt might call, call him and say, hey, well, I doubt he could call these Chinese companies and tell them, but who knows, man? I know, I know it's some big, big stuff that went down at manufacturing level. So anything's possible. So I will not reveal until I heal. <laughs> nah, until it's here. I think I'm gonna run out of transfers first. Oh, this is a good one. This is a text from Gary V. It says, let this be the text that gives you permission to stop holding resentment to your parents or someone else and realize that you are 100% uh, capable of making yourself happier. Start now. Do this. Take a deep breath like the deepest you can and say it out loud. Regardless of where you are, say it out loud. I got this while smiling <gasps> I got this <laughs> a little bit of affirmation he must know I was going too crazy on pro world today so shout out to Gary V for hitting me with the right message in time he was watching this and stick it to y'all just know I used to know a guy named Rum V <laughs> I guess I'm gonna be done sooner than I thought because I ain't gonna have no transfers. What do you think about eco solving transfers? I mean, I like I like my uh, BN20. I love my BN20. Um, I think it's great for like block stuff um, or stuff that's like don't got a lot of cavities per se. But again, it's like full color, but you still got a weed. You just don't got a weed and layer. Do you see what I just did? Weed and layer and separate as much.
My man said he hired a company to do market, some marketing piece. He's like, they trash. I'm like, listen. He said, if I start another company, it's going to be in marketing. I said, listen, well, I know how to market if you're going to do the technical. You're going to take care of the technical. I know exactly how to market. Any industry. Drop the same shirts twice. Twice. Not too far, I feel like four left out of this box.
All right, I'm done for now. Uh, that's a workhorse washout booth. I think it's like eight fifty. You can get some cheaper ones. Look on Craigslist, man. You can find a washout booth for cheap. I'm telling you. I don't think you should buy Super Color. Not because of the product. Just don't long, no longer rock with them. Um, all right, y'all. That's it for now. Pressed myself out of transfer, which is a good sign. Be back later to finish off the other half. Had the girls cut those up earlier. Uh, we'll talk about it. Peace.